वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस द होल क्वेश्चन ऑफ फाइव मिनट मैथ दिस सेशन एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी थ्री क्वेश्चन इज ए राइट एंगल ट्रैंगल हैज एन एरिया एटीन सेंटीमीटर स्केयर एंड वन ऑफ टू शोटर साइड इज ट्वाइस द लेंथ ऑफ अदर वन एंड इन दिस क्वेश्चन वट इज द लेंथ ऑफ हाइपोटोनिज ऑफ द ट्रैंगल एक्चुअली फ्रॉम गिवन क्वेश्चन स्टेटमेंट वी हैव टू पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ राइट एंगल ट्रैंगल फर्स्ट इज दिस एंड सेकेंड इज दिस and we know that uh, in a right angle triangle hypotenuse is always greater than perpendicular and hypotenuse is always greater than base so for this result there are two possibility uh, in the first part base is twice the perpendicular because in this question we have uh, one of two shorter side is twice the length of other one and in this possibility uh, i let perpendicular is equals to twice the base and now for simplicity i choose the second possibility of a right angle triangle and in this right angle triangle say this angle theta and for this angle theta this side work as perpendicular and this hypotenuse and this base uh, we know that uh, in a right angle triangle the two result are very famous first one is pythagoras theorem that is hypotenuse square is equals to sum of perpendicular square plus base square and the second one is area is equals to 1 upon 2 into base into height and for this figure a base is this side that is b and uh, height is this that is perpendicular this implies that area is equals to 1 upon 2 into base into perpendicular uh, actually in this question we have given that area of triangle is equals to 18 cm square uh, this implies that 1 upon 2 into b into p is equals to 18 cm square now as we consider in this figure uh, perpendicular is equals to two time of base this implies that 1 upon 2 into b p is equals to 2b is equals to 18 now this implies that this two cancel with this that is b square is equals to 18 now from result first of a right angle triangle that is pythagoras theorem which implies that h square is equals to p square plus b square and we also consider p is equals to two time of b uh, this this implies that h uh, square is equals to uh, 4b square plus b square which is equals to 5b square this implies that h square is equals to 5 time of b square here we use b square is equals to 18 from our previous calculation which implies that h square is equals to 90 uh, we break 90 is equals to 3 into 3 into 10 and uh, this is equals to 3 square into 10 that is 90 is equals to this here we find 90 square root which is equals to this and this this implies that 3 into root 10 or this implies that h is equals to 3 time of root 10 now come to options d incorrect e incorrect and option c is correct now come to question number 55 of imet and question is which one of the following is a simplification of 2 upon x square minus 1 minus 1 upon x minus 1 such that x not equals to uh, plus minus 1 and these are options uh, question we have a 2 upon x square minus 1 minus 1 upon x minus 1 such that x not equals to minus 1 and x not equals to plus 1 uh, in this question for simply fix b square is equals to a plus b into a minus b uh, using this formula x square minus 1 is equals to x square minus 1 square that is x plus 1 into x minus 1 so this expression can be written as 2 upon x square minus 1 that is 2 upon x plus 1 into x minus 1 minus 1 upon x minus 1 uh, using fractional calculation this implies that 2 minus x plus 1 upon x plus 1 into x minus 1 and this equals to 2 minus x minus 1 upon x plus 1 into x minus 1 and this further implies that 1 minus x upon x plus 1 into x minus 1 as we know that 1 minus x can be written as uh, minus x minus 1 that is minus x minus 1 upon x plus 1 into x minus 1 because x not equals to 1 this implies that uh, this x minus 1 cancel with this x minus 1 and this implies that uh, minus 1 upon x plus 1 where x not equals to 1 now come to options option b incorrect option c incorrect d incorrect e incorrect and only option a is correct 
नाउ कम टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी सिक्स ऑफ फाइव मिनट एंड इन दिस क्वेश्चन द स्ट्रेट लाइन ग्राफ गिवन बाय दिस इक्वेशन दैट इज एक्स अपॉन फोर प्लस वाई अपॉन सिक्स इज इक्वल्स टू वन एंड दिस स्ट्रेट लाइन ग्राफ इंटरसेक्ट द एक्स एक्सिस ए पॉइंट एंड इंटरसेक्ट द वाई एक्सिस एट बी पॉइंट ए सर्कल पासिस थ्रू ए एंड बी एंड हैज डायमीटर ए बी देन वट इज द कोर्डिनेट ऑफ सेंटर ऑफ ए सर्कल एंड दिज आर ऑप्शन नाउ कम टू एक्सप्लेनेशन क्वेश्चन इक्वेशन ऑफ ए स्ट्रेट लाइन इज एक्स अपॉन फोर प्लस वाई अपॉन सिक्स इज इक्वल्स टू वन एंड द स्ट्रेट लाइन इंटरसेक्ट द एक्स एक्सिस दिस मीन्स दैट इंटरसेक्शन पॉइंट इज लाइज ऑन एक्स एक्सिस वी नो दैट इफ एल्फा कोमा बीटा पॉइंट लाइज ऑन एक्स एक्सिस दिस सिंपली मीन्स दैट बीटा इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो इन आवर केस वाई इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो put this y is equals to 0 in this equation we get x upon 4 plus 0 is equals to 1 that is x is equals to 4 so from given question a is 4 comma 0 similarly this straight line intersect the y axis this implies that intersection point is lies on uh, y axis we know that if alpha comma beta point lies on uh, y axis its uh, alpha is equals to 0 that is in our case x is equals to 0 put this x is equals to 0 in this equation we get 0 upon 4 plus y upon 6 is equals to 1 that is y is equals to 6 now from given question b is equals to 0 comma 6 uh, in this question we also given that a circle passes through a and b points such that uh, line segment ab work as a diameter of the circle uh, for this circle say c is a center now come to uh, further explanation if c is a center of the circle with a diameter end point is uh, 4, 0 and 0, 6 this imp uh, this implies that c is a midpoint of this two point uh, so using midpoint formula c is equals to uh, 0 plus 4 upon 2 and 6 plus 0 upon 2 that is 2, comma 3 now come to options uh, option b c d and e are incorrect and option a is correct now come to question number 60 of i met and in this question x is equals to 3 into 10 raised to power m and y is equals to 5 into 10 raised to power n where m and n are integers uh, in this question which of the following is an expression in a scientific notation for x into y and these are options for given value of uh, x and y x into y means 3 into 10 raised to power m into 5 into 10 raised to power n and for this question we use this result for a greater than 0 a power m into a power n is equals to a power m plus n this implies that 3 into 5 into 10 raised to power m plus n this can be written as 15 into 10 raised to power m plus n and now value of x into y is equals to 15 into 10 raised to power m plus n uh, this implies that uh, option a is incorrect because 15 not is equals to 8 and option b is incorrect because here 10 raised to power m plus n but here 10 raised to power m into n so that's why option b is incorrect uh, option c is incorrect because 15 15 into 10 raised to power m plus n minus 1 but here m plus n uh, now option d is incorrect because here 10 raised to power m plus n here 10 raised to power m into n plus 1 now last option is correct because this can be written as 15 into 10 into 10 into 10 raised to power m plus n that is 1.5 into 10 raised to power m plus n plus 1 that's why option e is correct